This is the story of Saint Doinwen, Santes Doinwen, the patron saint of lovers and all those who know true love. We celebrate her day on the 25th of January, the date of her death, but her life is much more interesting than her death. Her father was Brachan Brachainyog, and Brachan was the son of Anlach, and his mother Marchel was the heiress to the kingdom of Garth Modron. When Anlach died, the nobles of Garth Modron called on Brachan Brachainyog to be their king. He was a just and saintly man, a really good guy. He was so successful in his reign that they renamed the kingdom, the kingdom of Brachainyog, in his honour. And that's how it's known today. He, he married three times. And it is said he had 24 sons and 24 daughters. He raised them all devoutly in the Christian faith. And so many of his children gave their lives to the service of God that he became known as the father of saints. But the fairest of his daughters was doing well. And she, following the example of her brothers and sisters, committed her life to the service of God. But soon her heart was torn. Mylon de Vodril came down from the north and she fell in love with him, and he loved her. Doinwen wanted to be married, but she could not escape the commitment she had given to spend her life in the service of God. As time went on, Mylon became more and more frustrated, and he thought of a different way. He wanted to make Doinwen pregnant, and so bring the matter to a conclusion. Doinwen resisted this, and she prayed to God to release her from this love. That night, an angel appeared to Doinwen and gave her a potion to drink. And when she drank this potion, all her desire for Mylon disappeared. And she gave the potion to Mylon to drink, but when he drank from it, he turned to ice. So Doinwen prayed and asked for three gifts. First, that Mylon be released. Secondly, that through her, God would protect all of us. And thirdly, that she would remain unmarried. Well, her prayer was answered. Mylon was released, and he went back home. Then Doinwen, with her sister Kain and her brother Davnan, went through all the Celtic kingdoms of the island, preaching, establishing congregations and building churches. Eventually, she settled on a small rocky point off the coast of Anglesey, and there she established a hermitage. Women from all over went to visit her, to ask her advice, seek her wisdom in spiritual and earthly matters. One of her favourite sayings was, Nid oes dim yn ennill calonai fel syrioldeb. Nothing wins hearts like cheerfulness. She is celebrated today in the name of that island, Llandoin, where her hermitage stood is the ruins of an old church, the Church of Llandoin. In the t she's remembered in the town of Porthoin and in the Cornish village of Sen Adwin. Where the hermitage was and where the Church of Llandoin now stands, just outside is a well. It's called Fanon Dunwen, Dunwen's Fountain, and it is said that lovers can discern their future by watching the movement of fish in the well. The patron saint of lovers. She 
asked God to protect all true love. So if your heart is faithful and your love is true, God will not forget the prayer of doing well and you will be blessed. Thank you for listening.